I am sitting here with the man of the Hamburg Sea Devils, quarterback Jadrian Clark. Jadrian, welcome to the European League of Football. Yeah, thank you very much. We are happy to have you on board. How excited are you about being part of this new league and the Hamburg Sea Devils? It's a dream come true. Um, the Hamburg Sea Devils are an amazing organization and I'm really excited to be a part of the team. Have you been to Hamburg? Yeah, a couple of times actually. Uh, the first time I was there uh, was back in 2018 when I played for the New York Brown Tiger Lions, New Yorker Brown Tiger Lions. Um, I actually try to make a point to stay in all the cities uh, after the game. So I, I stayed in Hamburg and the city was amazing. I really, really liked it. So what did you do there or what did you like the most? My favorite thing about Hamburg would probably be just all the water. Um, I grew up in, in Florida and Germany is an awesome place, but there's not a ton of water in all the cities. Uh, but Hamburg obviously has the ports and, and bridges and canals running throughout the whole city. So I, I just felt at home immediately there. Um, seems like the perfect city for me. I was able to go back and, and meet with Coach Nominson when I was, you know, being recruited uh, to the Sea Devils. And it's just, I fell in love with the city already. And when will you be moving or have you moved there already? Uh, next week, I'll be there April 1st. Okay, perfect. Well, <laughs> I hope your new home is going to welcome you perfectly then. Definitely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting there and getting to work with the guys and, and settling in. So looking at the European League of Football, what is your opinion about this league and what potential do you see in it? Yeah, I think the potential is huge. Um, I've obviously played in Europe for a few years now and I've almost dreamed and wished that something like this existed. I think the other leagues have done a good job of promoting the sport, but they haven't really capitalized on the hype of American football over there, especially with the NFL. And I think this league uh, is going to be an opportunity to do that uh, through marketing, through competitive balance and, and through proper uh, team management. And looking at your team, the Hamburg Sea Devils yeah. were a very successful team in the NFL Europe. And now the team name is back and I'm sure it made plenty of fan hearts jump. Are you aware of the team name's history? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I guess my only uh, memory with the, the team name or, or the NFL Europe was just being a kid and playing Madden. I, I thought the, the logos and everything were cool. Sometimes my friends would play with them just for a switch up. <laughs> so let's focus on your skills on the field. How would you describe your style as a quarterback? Yeah, I would say that uh, I'm a pocket passer uh, that has the ability to still get out and make plays with my legs. Uh, I think that uh, I'm most comfortable, uh, you know, running play action, taking shots down the field, but also running quick game. Uh, it's part of why I chose to come play with the Sea Devils, Coach Nominson's offense, the offensive coordinator there. Uh, I think aligns perfectly with my skill set, and I'm really, really excited to show what I can do in the offense. So what advice can you give to young quarterbacks or players? How can they gain confidence and become a good and successful leader? That's a, that's a really good question. Um, I think confidence is earned. You earn the right to be proud and confident through putting in hard work and, and having a level of competency, competency in what you're doing. Um, ironically enough, I've been putting together a website uh, ever since the pandemic uh, broke out to try and help younger quarterbacks throughout Europe uh, play, play the position. I think a lot of times too much uh, work and attention is put into just footwork and throwing motion. And there's a lot more to playing quarterback than just that. Um, I built this website called QBApex.com where I'm, I'm trying to explain the, the finer things of playing quarterback, such as diagnosing the defense, uh, understanding game time situations and heart and leadership. Uh, so I've had a lot of kids reach out to me over my years over there. So that's something for maybe some of you guys to check out and, and maybe they can help improve their game that way. That's very cool. So um, will you win the European League of Football? I'm not asking if you can, because I'm sure you do. <laughs> and the pressure on me. Um, well, I think anytime you, you're, you're going to start a new season, the goal is to win the championship. I think everyone in the league should have that goal. Um, you can't really control the end result. You can just control the process. So I'm more focused on that getting over there, getting to know my teammates, building chemistry with them and, and taking it one day at a time. I, th I think we have a ton of potential in Hamburg with the roster that we have and the staff that we have on board. Um, but po potential to me is an interesting word. Potential is just a nice way of saying you haven't accomplished anything yet. So um, I'd like to actually go out and, and, and prove that 
this potentially can turn into something and, and really be great this year. So yeah, our goal is to win the championship, but we're just going to take it a day at a time and focus on the process. Perfect. So is there anything you would like to say to the fans? Yeah, I would say just be a little bit patient. Obviously, um, it's tough when it's a new league entering the pandemic, but expect big things um, ahead. We're going to find a way to pull through all this adversity that we're, we're facing the last couple of years and, and come out on the other side greater than we ever were. Uh, I, I'm, I fully support this project, and I, I think that it's going to be amazing, and it's going to be something for the fans to really uh, get behind and, and have an exciting time. Yes, none of us can wait for summer 2021, I'm telling you. Javian, thank you so very much for this interview. It was a pleasure getting to know you a little bit better. Yeah, thank you so much. Best of luck for season one. And you guys at home, thanks for watching. And don't miss our other interviews. There's more coming up. So stay tuned and see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care.